What do Wolverine and the inhabitants of Tiernan Og, the Irish mythological land of the young, potentially have in common? In this video, I'm going to outline the connection and the new research behind it. Hi there, I'm Dr. Barry Fitzgerald, the superhero scientist, and on this channel, you're gonna find videos about superheroes, Star Wars, science, engineering, and lots of other topics. If you're enjoying this video, well, please be sure to give it a like, and let's get straight into the connection between Wolverine and Tiernan Og. Wolverine has accelerated healing powers and his cells age slower than those of the average person. This all sounds very similar to life for the inhabitants of Tiernan Og, which is an Irish mythological land of the young where those living there get to enjoy eternal beauty, youth and joy. One of the most famous stories of Tiernan Og is that of Oisin and Niamh. Oisin is from Ireland and Niamh is from Tiernan Og. They meet each other, fall in love, and they end up moving to Tiernan Og. After spending what seems like just a few years in Tiernan Og, Oisin gets homesick and yearns to return to Ireland. When he does return, he finds that 300 years have passed in Ireland. In a way, you could say that Oisin is a pioneer with regards to time traveling in mythology. Before his return to Ireland, Niamh warned Oisin not to touch the ground in Ireland because if he did, he would instantly become old and die. So Oisin travels on a magical horse to Ireland, but unfortunately, he falls from the horse, and as Neve said, he instantly grows old and dies. In the world of superheroes, Wolverine is one of the characters closest to having eternal youth like that possessed by Neve from Tiernan Oak. So what's the scientific explanation to the slow aging of Wolverine cells and the eternal youth of Neve and all the other inhabitants in Tiernan Oak? Well, the answer could be the protein Nanog, and yes, the protein, which is a real protein, is named after Tiernan Oak. And new research from a team led by scientists at the University of Buffalo in the United States has shown that this protein Nanog can be used to successfully reverse aging in cells. Right, so what did they do for their research? They studied muscle cells. The thing is when cells in the body start to get older, they start to lose some of their functionality and some of the things they could do when they were younger. One of these is to divide and make new cells in a process known as mitosis. When cells start to lose their abilities, this is known as cellular senescence. Right, the researchers wanted to see if the protein Nanog could change all of this for muscle cells. So here's what they did. They programmed myoblasts, which are the cells that eventually become muscle cells to make more Nanog protein than normal. In addition, the myoblasts were programmed not to divide. In this way, the researchers could then check on the true effect of the increased levels of Nanog because if the cells can't divide, well, that's one of the things we see with cellular senescence. The researchers then watched the cells to see if it had any effect on how the cells behaved and evolved. And the results were quite astounding. First off, the cells were better at using energy and also better at processing waste that results from cellular activity. But in addition to that, these cells with the increased levels of Nanog were actually able to call on muscle stem cells to come and join them in the muscles. And why is it important to be thinking about muscle stem cells? Muscle stem cells are really important because these are young, fresh cells that are ready to become a specific type of cell in the muscles whenever they are needed to become that type of cell. In other words, the extra nano protein was able to balance the fact that these cells weren't able to divide by calling on muscle stem cells to join them so that when the original cells died, these muscle stem cells, you guessed it, would take their place. So could these nano proteins, these proteins that are named after the land of the young from Irish mythology, be the key to the slow aging powers of Wolverine and the eternal youth of Neve and all the other inhabitants 
of Tiernan Oak. And perhaps these cells could also be used to promote accelerated healing and more effective healing. Well, I've got to bring you some disappointing news because the researchers won't be creating a real life Wolverine or Neve from Tiernan Oak anytime soon. Instead, they want to use their research to develop new drugs that can be used to treat people who are dealing with age-related diseases and issues. Thanks for watching this video and of course be sure to subscribe and switch notifications on to get news on the latest videos when they go online. I've been Dr. Barry Fitzgerald, the superhero scientist, and until I see you next time, always think super.